good afternoon and welcome to the White House. And thank you for letting me be a part of this program, honoring five very deserving young people. And also for supporting the fine efforts of Cosmos National Hispanic Youth Institute. Your work is a model for community projects that can make a real difference to the future of our country. To these five young people, and to all of you, mi casa es su casa. And in this case, it really is su casa. <laughs> it belongs to Oh, you and all Americans, and we're happy to have you with us here today. Today, of course, we focus on youth, our nation's most precious resource. The future of our nation will be determined more than anything else by the character of our children. And particularly significant is the role Hispanics are playing in shaping the future of America. The makeup of your community is the most youthful of any American ethnic group. Over 50% are under age 25. So the guidance and inspiration you offer is very significant. The fine young people that we honor here today are fine examples of the values and traditions for which your community is known. Their families, their country, and their president are proud of them. Miss Felicia Martinez, for example. Felicia, will you come up here? <laughs> Felicia is from Tucson, Arizona where she's a senior at Sal Point Catholic High School. She's in the Honor Society as well as the Speech and Red Cross Clubs. Felicia is active in her church and has served as a receptionist at St. Augustine's Cathedral. She is, she's an accomplished speaker, has spoken before the Hispanic Youth Forum and various community programs. When writing about her future, she explains, I plan to go into pediatrics. I'm choosing this career because I love children, I'm interested in medicine, and I enjoy helping others. Well, Felicia, it's a pleasure to recognize you today as an outstanding young person and fine example to other Hispanic youth. Thank you. Thank you. Now, also with us is Emacio Rosada, Jr., and he tells me that He tells me that his friends call him Junior, so if it isn't too presumptuous, I'm just going to include myself as one of your friends, Junior. <laughs> All right. Born in Puerto Rico, he graduated from Charleston High School in the Boston area and is now on active duty in the United States Navy. <laughs> He's studying to become a fire control technician and is learning how to work sophisticated electronic equipment. He's always been close to his family, particularly his grandparents, whom he credits with instilling in him a deep respect for religion. Writing about himself, he says, what makes me happy is having a good time with my friends and spending holidays with my family and getting good news because when I'm a, I have a rotten day, I need something to cheer me up. <laughs> Junior, I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> And for the future, he writes, I want to finish my four years in the Navy, then put to use what I learned because I want to be able to support a family, plus I want to be able to help my mother. <laughs> it's a pleasure having you here today. He's an outstanding young person and a fine example of the Hispanic youth of this country. And next we have with us Kennedy de la Pena from Albuquerque, New Mexico. He told us in a letter that his full name is actually Kennedy Richard de la Pena because his father was a Republican and his mother was a Democrat. Well, Kennedy, we're, we're proud of you. He is currently enrolled in New Mexico State University and is working toward a degree in business administration. Over the years, he's had a number of jobs ranging from selling chili to janitorial work and clerking. On top of all of that, 
He's been a volunteer helping at nonprofit church bingo for the last seven years. In high school, he was captain of the soccer and basketball teams. Of his goals, he writes, my current goal is to receive a degree in business administration. My long-term goal is to run for public office and win. <laughs> My prime goal is to be happy and content and to help others be the same. <laughs> well, you're a fine young man, and we're happy to honor you today. I'm happy to be here, Mr. President. Thank, Thank you. you. And then we have Sheila Renee Ortiz. She is from a military family. Here she is. So she is, she's from Oklahoma City. She's from a military family, and she moved around a lot in her younger years. Still, she managed to make the honor roll in school, as well as being the student council, uh, in the student council, and serving as junior and senior class president. Sheila was active in basketball and volleyball. Her favorite subject is history, because she says, I was always interested in what happened in the past and how America became what she is today. Sheila works in a grocery store and plans to take college courses in the fall. In her letter, she wrote, I hope President Reagan thinks I'm a good example of Hispanic youth. Well, Sheila, I certainly do, and I'm proud to have you with us here today. Finally, there is Rodolfo Rene Fuentes of West Laco, Texas, currently a junior in high school and in the top 10% of his class. Simultaneously, and get this, while going to high school, this young man is enrolled as a freshman in Pan American University and plans to have completed 30 hours of college credit by the time he graduates from high school. In high school, he's been active in debate, football, drama, and track. What'd you play in football? Guard. What? Right guard. Right guard myself. <laughs> <laughs> it gets busy down there in the middle of the line. <laughs> he's an officer of the student council and is a member of Christian Athletes, the National Honor Society and the Catholic Youth Organization. Outside of school activities, Rodolfo is a captain of a volunteer ambulance unit. Of the future, he writes, my personal goal is to develop into an effective leader. At present, my interests are not focused on one specific career. Nevertheless, I've rounded the field to three, medical, judicial, or political. <laughs> well, you're certainly developing yourself into an effective leader, and we're proud to honor you today. I congratulate all five of you for all you stand for. Because of your courage and hard work, you're not only bettering your own lives, but offering other young people examples of what they can accomplish. I thank again the members of COSMO and all of you here today for doing your part in a very worthwhile program and wish you the best of luck at the festivities tonight. Gracias, muchas gracias to all of you. And, and especially to these wonderful young people and vaya con Dios. Mr. President, Mrs. Reagan, del fondo del corazón de los miembros de Cosmo le damos las gracias. From the bottom of our hearts, the membership of Cosmo thanks you for being so gracious in having this reception for the National Hispanic Youth Institute of Cosmo. And to show our appreciation, I present you with this painting that commemorates this event. Ah. We are very pleased it projects, and it, it, the message is uh, the part of sharing culture and wisdom. And it is painted by one of our famous Mexican-American artists, Amado Peña from the state of Texas, and also New Mexico. Um, 
For those of you too far away to see, it is appropriate. It shows the older man speaking to the young people. <laughs> I hadn't thought about it that way. I just meant <laughs> all of you helping them. <laughs> well, again, thank you all very much. Thank all of you. Congratulations. Again, I thank you very much for being with us, members of Cosmo. I, wish, I hope I'll see you there tonight at all the affairs and keep on having a good time until we have to leave. Thank you again, all of you.